So some stocks have started to recover recently, especially in the real estate sector, because the real estate market isn't collapsing as much as people seem to have thought it would. Um, industrial real estate has been a very hot sector. Um, some of the real estate tech companies have done really well. One real estate subsector that has been lagging is the communications REITs or the cell tower REITs, if you want to call them that. I'm uh, talking about American Tower, ticker symbol AMT, and Crown Castle, ticker symbol CCI. I don't think their name is officially Crown Castle International anymore, anymore but they kept the same ticker symbol. Um, so these companies are down, by the time you, re, you watch this, it might be a little different, but right now they're down about 15% year to date. And my question is, is this market pressure because REITs are kind of interest rate sensitive? A lot of REITs are getting are, are pressured just because of rising rates and things like that. Or is there something troubling about the business that's to blame for the decline? So it, it's a little bit of both. And I'm going to throw in one more cell phone tower REIT. It's SBA Communications, uh, ticker symbol SBAC. They're the smaller, considerably smaller than the other two uh, that we're mentioning here, but worth mentioning because there's each of them has one business issue that is common for all of them, and that's the Sprint and T-Mobile merger. Uh, it happened a couple of years back, but because of the merger, uh, what's ended up happening is uh, both those companies ended up having like overlapping coverage on the same cell phone tower, and so as leases expire on some of those uh, communication towers for all three of these companies, uh, they're kind of consolidating and maybe not uh, renew renewing both leases and just sticking to one. It's been a, a, for each of them, it's been about a one to 2% per year decline in uh, funds from operation growth, uh, you know, a, a, a downward impact for each of them. So all of them have that. And then each of them kind of have their own little like business warts. American Tower decided to get into the data center business right at the like peak of valuation of data centers. So it's sitting on a lot of overvalued real estate. Uh, Crown Castle wanted to get into fiber and small cell nodes, which I long term I believe in, but it's been very, very slow to uptake than I think a lot of people expected. So, you know, the expected growth has been pretty sclero sclerotic there. And then lastly, um, SBA Communications was just valued way, way higher than anyone else in this business. I think they only had a dividend of like 1.5%. And in a, in a rising interest rate environment, it's it's hard to justify a business that's growing its, you know, funds, funds per share at five to 6% annually and paying a 1% dividend, the math just didn't quite add up um, for, for a valuation of that sort of thing. So, you know, you combine all that. And like I said, rising interest rate environments, everybody has a little bit more of a demand when they're, they're buying REITs. Uh, all of these companies have, you know, uh, well, sorry, American Towers is about 3%. Like I said, SB Communications 1.5. Crown Castles is considerably higher. I don't have it in top, in top of my head right now, but, you know, if I'm making a value proposition and it says, well, if I can get money market accounts where it's practically risk free at 4.75 percent, it, it's not as much worth it. Sure, I'm getting some growth from this dividend yield, but that's a it takes a long time for that to make up to to a 4.75 percent yield. And so you, you kind of throw all that, that together into the stew and you get, you know, what has been one of the worst performing real estate sectors so far this year. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe if you don't subscribe to my channel already. And as always, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Be sure to visit www.fool.com slash Frankel to receive the 10, top 10 best stocks to buy now.